Well, well, well. There's Louise trying to acquaint herself with the pool rules. It will be interesting to know what she has read when she gets back. But it gives me a thought, you know. It gives me a thought about the rules of life. Rules of life. When you think about children, and you think about a home, you think about the parents, you think about their jobs, you think about their meetings, it all goes right back to some basic uh, standards that are expected in life. I wouldn't call it rules, but basic standards, you know? And um, one of the things about when you meet someone, when you meet someone in life and you feel that you have a click and you feel that you should move on in life with this person, there are basic standards that you have to adhere to. One will be sincerity, one will be truthfulness, one will be discipline in a relationship. Uh, Louise, excuse me. Yes, sir. Come tell me, if you sit down there, tell me um, what are the rules that we can apply on that board to life? Some things that you might have picked up from the rules. I was talking here a little bit there about there are rules in life, or should we say standards, yes. standards in life that we can adhere to when it comes to relationships. Yes. Right? Okay. What are some of the, 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 the basic standards that we could apply to to life? Some of the things that you might have picked up off the... Okay. okay. One of the things, you must have a shower before you go in the pool. Okay, so we got to keep things clean. We got to think about clean. others coming behind. That's right. Uh-huh. So, cleanliness is godliness. Okay. And if cleanliness is godliness, we have to, to keep clean our thoughts, our action, our behavior. Keep it clean. They say, watch your words, because you don't know when you'll have to eat it. Papa. So you have to keep your words clean, because if you got to eat it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right? So that's rule number one, to have a shower. When they're looking around to see where the shower might be, and I've not seen any shower. Well, you'll have to take one in the pool. <laughs> I just don't, Mr. Anand. They say, if you have a diarrhea, do not use the pool. Oh, my. Well, I don't have a diarrhea. And um, <laughs> that's quite a funny situation, diarrhea. Mm -hmm. But the homes are pretty close to the pool. Yes. So if somebody feels something going awry, you know, you could, yes. you so, could dart off to your home. Yes. So again, that speaks of cleanliness too because if you have a diarrhea you could dirty the water mess it up for good mess up the water good and proper yes 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 but then you know some people's thoughts are not really very sanitary exactly and therefore you know it's like the pool that Santa built in Cora there he takes the time to sanitize the pool he goes down I remember Kevin to St. Joseph and we, we had to buy these um, chlorine tablets mm -hmm. and Sydney was very helpful to him in keeping the pool tidy and clean you know he was teaching them about cleanliness and about you know rules no he didn't have written rules but there were rules that is correct and if you value where you are and what you have you know you will want to preserve it eh? but you know that was really a wonderful project that Lasana took on to have Bella pool for his kids in the time of COVID, you know. Of course, there is a lot of kids have been, been, been locked down, yeah. and there was a lot of mental anguish yeah. at that period and, in time. And people were locked into apartments, they did not see any sunlight. So these children, in the COVID time, for months, they were they kept so healthy. That's they right. never got COVID, they were healthy, they swim in the pool. I myself, since I couldn't go to the beach, I went to the pool. I must have overst overstayed my welcome, but nevertheless, <laughs> I used it well. 
but it, it was a really very handy, I mean, that was a great investment you saw me. Yes. He was thinking, really thinking ahead, eh? He was thinking of his family. Yeah, yeah. And he always say, this pool is for my family, not only my children, but for my family. Mm -hmm. You remember when you did the Olympic dash there? Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, we must pull that up, Louise, and see if we can, you know, yeah. throw back a little light on the time when you did the Olympic training. Yes. <laughs> we are about to do some crazy skits, you know. Yeah, yeah, but they were fun. Yeah, but I... And the children enjoyed it at that point in time, eh? Well, I would like to know where is the bathroom to have a shower to, to, to get in there. It's probably, it's probably up on this post there, I don't know. But tell me some more about the rules, because that's interesting. Right. Do not swallow the water. Okay. Because the water might, you know, it's not clean, you know. Well, it might be contaminated on it. Because you, know, you might Maybe a minimum degree. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, when you swallow things that are not healthy for the body, even when you swallow things that are mentally unhealthy, Think about that. Yeah, yeah. you swallow it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you get of yeah side effects. Okay, yeah. You swallow up something you get that Ill, you shouldn't. You know, yeah. when you get ill, you get weak. Your reactions aren't good. You yeah. overreact at some things. You know. Yeah, yeah. You don't lap up everything, man. You can't lap up everything, <laughs> but it is inevitable that when you take a dive there. You will swallow something. You will swallow something, huh? Yeah. And life is like that. You can't, you cannot reject everything. Yeah. There's some things that get in. It's what happens when it gets in, eh? That's right. And also, it said, um, what else? There's a certain time limit. To be in the pool? Yeah. From 7 in the morning, I think, to 11 p.m. When you notice, Louise? There's a time limit in life, eh? There's a limit to everything. You know, there's a time limit to, you know, as you go along in life, there are time limits to everything. Yeah. To life itself. Then other things come along that are not pleasant. But there's a time limit to think also things also that are not pleasant. Right? Yeah. They're not gonna last forever. Yeah. What else? Tell me, tell me, this is interesting. Like, um, it's, it's about six or seven things there. How much I talk about? I don't know. Let's take a walk and see. Let's take a walk and maybe we can capture some of the things. Yes, you know, you know, you see, you don't remember everything. No. <laughs> but I know you're going to enjoy it. It's a nice warm day. Other parts of the Caribbean are under threat, storm threat, but. It's beautiful, but it's beautiful. The clouds, the clouds seem to be a little bit. Not too bad. You know, this is our first experience of living in a condo. Yes, yes. You yes. know, in Trinidad, open yard, open homes. But the first experience. Now, Jackie's condo by the sea had a holiday flavor. But here, you know, you are living here. You know, yeah. for the time being, we are living here. Right. So it's a nice experience to look around and see different types of buildings, different types of homes. And knowledge is a wonderful thing, eh? To actually experience things, you can actually talk about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what did we miss? No food or beverages in the pool. Naturally, Louise, things should be where they belong. Everything has its place. Everything has its place in life. It's yeah. people in life. Do not use the pool if you're ill or you do that. The pool area is used at your own risk. Now, own risk is something that um, we if have to... If anything happens... We have to accept that too, eh? There yeah. are some things we say, some things we do, some things we harbor at our own risk. Exactly. Is that right? Yeah, because when you take a risk, it means you are willing for come what may but a lot of times we take risk not counting the cost that is correct you know we don't count the cost we just 
spontaneously like me sometimes spontaneously I do things and do not think about well you know it could be dangerous mm -hmm. so so when you take you have to first okay like this pool is quite deep so if someone is not a swimmer and you take the risk to go in to the deep part mm -hmm. very likely you will have problems there are no lifeguards here though no lifeguards Glancy you're gonna have to jump in after me yes and i don't want my shoe get wet eh? <laughs> so be sure be sure you stay in this okay now listen to this here the pool area is used at your own risk Cayman Crossing and its management accept no responsibility for personal injury or loss. Okay, there's a higher power in our life. Okay, there's a higher power to everyone's life. And when we do things at our own risk, the responsibility is ours. Yes. Right? Yes. We cannot, we cannot, uh, what's the word? We cannot um, escape that there is going to be personal injury, loss, but we ourselves are responsible for what we do what we say the course of action we take yeah the plunges we make in life yes. we ourselves are responsible right yep exactly so so when you take a risk you must be willing for the consequences okay so what well, in case of emergency dial 911 police <laughs> <laughs> you know that's that's the emergency <laughs> They will send out the they'll send out the troops, the emergency troops, yeah, right? Yeah, that is wrong. Yeah, but nine one one Trinidad is police. So if there's an emergency in your life, no, 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 nine nine nine, Louise. <laughs> you call like the guy who called dial six 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 and the police came reversing. Nine nine nine. <laughs> but tell me something. You laugh it a little too loud for these came and They're going to work one. Okay. So in case of emergency, dial one nine one one. Okay, in case of life's emergencies, what do you dial? Life emergency? I think you, you need to dial a higher power than yours. A higher power that exists in the heavens, a higher power that exists even in on the earth here where we, we have friends, we have we have elders, we have people who can be helpful. Is that right? Yes. A higher power. Right? You could, you could, you could resort to your higher power, but not the wrong powers, not the powers that the really... The powers of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, powers of God indeed. So these are the pool rules and we could apply them to our lives. Mm. So Louise, I think you know... Look at the palm trees, how beautiful over the... Um... What do you call that? What is it? What are you talking about? Which building? Uh, like a, a gazebo or something? Gazebo. Gazebo. Look at how beautiful the palms are looking at the back of the gazebo. Beautiful. To the very top. Yeah. So, Louise, in a little while, you're going to make a big splash. But I, I, uh, in life, right? I am walking around, but still can't find where is the shower. Don't worry. No diving. Hmm. No diving. No diving. So, you step down here. Let's take a little walk Unless, here. Unless, of course, they mean. When you come from your apartment, you should have come showered. Yeah, well, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because there's no shower here. Yeah. Uh, has to, but before you came, you would have had your shower. Okay, Louise, here it is. No, come here, come, come read this here before you go. Come. That's okay. Come, darling, come. I want you to be aware of this. Here's another warning. No lifeguard on duty. Prevent drowning. Children and non-swimmers shall not use the pool unless accompanied by a responsible adult. Well, I have you. Well, I think I'm responsible for you, okay. Louise. <laughs> okay, okay. Take your time. Ooh. This is life. <laughs> Woo. 
What's your height, Louise? Very deep. No, what is your height? My height is five feet eight inches. Five feet eight inches, and that's six feet deep. So that's too deep, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enjoy. can be so busy that you take it for granted that you are together when you really are not because you're busy with your thoughts you're busy doing work especially people working from home you might take for granted you know but we're in the same house together but you are busy working and I'm busy working mm -hmm. and there is no time quality time for each other so, Lancy, I am really happy that at this stage of our life, the Lord has been good to spare our life that we can have quality time together. You know, in the last four years with COVID, we were locked down at home and we enjoyed the time. But it's really nice to do different stuff. And, you know, it makes life interesting exciting meeting others since we have come here we have met a lot of friends and family and um quality time is being spent and it's good that we are having an alone time right now yeah but i i need you to come in the pool with me yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay Thank so you. i'll take another swim and then Very good, Louise. Quality time, indeed. Beautiful to have quality time. Quality time brings out the beauty in life. Quality time brings out the extreme beauty in life. So, my friends, I hope you are having a quality time today with your, your companions, your children, your life is happy and although there are storms on the horizon although there are storms on the horizon there's always room for a lot of sunshine bye bye so my friends some, some, somebody, um, some of the people man. i really should hail out but i i have to write names so <laughs> maybe the next version I we would have done that before. yes but you know you were so anxious to get here now, I, now they slipped me. My friends, once again, all our subscribers, we are grateful to you all following us, and it helps. All the best today, tomorrow, and onwards. Thank you. Love you all.